Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna. I'm so excited to have you all here today. I am gonna be sharing a thrift haul with you all. I haven't done one of these in a while here on this channel and I have had so much fun thrifting and I wanted to share all the finds I found at my local thrift stores. I have found some stuff for fall. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy seeing thrifted finds for fall. I have been binge watching some thrift hauls for the fall season. So I'm gonna be sharing with you things that I found for my fall decor, as well as some everyday items. I'm also gonna be sharing with you some things that I was given to by my mom's neighbors. I'm really excited about those too. They're gonna to be excellent for fall and Christmas season, really any time of year, but I'm really excited to use them for fall. Okay, so first up, I was really, really happy to find these. I've been hoping to find these for a while and they are marble coasters. Look at how beautiful they are. And there is a set of four and these were four dollars for the set so um i actually got these for something else but i'm not sure if the idea i had in mind for these is gonna work if not i don't care because <laughs> i love marble i think it looks really really cool i think this is going to be great for my decor so i found these ceramic pieces this one's a spoon rest i got that for a dollar i actually don't own a spoon rest um, i think i'm gonna actually change this up because i don't have much of this color in my kitchen area so uh, we'll see i'm not sure yet and then i also found this ceramic mason jar it is supposed to be like a vase but i discovered it doesn't hold water uh, I had put some flowers in it and I noticed there was some seeping from the bottom and when I had a closer look I saw that on the inside there was a spot where the glaze didn't adhere so thankfully it didn't leak out too much. Uh, I picked this up for two dollars and I thought it would be great even if I can't use it as a vase it would be great to hold my paint brushes especially the tall ones I thought that would be pretty um, yeah or even some dried florals I love to look at the glass section in the thrift stores and I found this really cool jar I really like the shape um, I got it for one dollar and something like this would be really cool to have a terrarium in it or a little fairy garden or a gnome garden i love to do little gnome gardens and stuff like this uh, but you could just fill it with some decorative items as well so this is a ceramic item that my mom had given to me uh, she said here why don't you take this see i'm not using it see what you could come up with and I'm like, okay, I had a closer look at it and I'm like, mm, I don't know what I can do with this because this is kind of an odd piece, but I don't know. I thought, sort of looking closer at it, you could definitely use it for fall decor just as is. What it is, is a dip. It's for dip. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> and um, this would make a really cute little piece. You could put a plant in it. I thought about painting it and then you could use this as a little decorative piece. Yeah, I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, I haven't quite decided on what I'll do with this. I found this gorgeous doily. I love doilies. They are so, so beautiful and I know all the work that goes into them. My grandma made doilies and I haven't seen one like this. I thought it was just so beautiful. So of course I thought this would be beautiful for springtime or summer. I did pay a little bit more for it. It was $3, but you know, like I said, I haven't seen anything like this before, so it had to come home. <laughs> so these next few items are actually Christmas, but this one item I thought could be used for fall as well. And it is the Premium Plus Christie's Crackers Tin and it is really old and weathered. Um, I actually looked into it, found out it is actually not that old, but it looks really old. And it's got this cute uh, little decorative element here that's winter, Christmas, but I thought, you know what? 
there's no reason why I can't display it on this side. As you can see, it would be suitable for fall. Um, I thought I'm going to clean it up because it is quite dirty on the inside and I could use it for storage in my craft room. I could just display the lid even if I wanted. And that was $3, but then I got it for 50 cents, or sorry, 50% off. So it was $1.50. I have been collecting golden books. I wanna make some journals out of these books and I found a bunch at, for Christmas. There is this one. And there's Frosty, Jingle Bells and the Christmas donkey. I am so excited to try and alter these. I have a big stack that I need to work on, but um, yeah, I thought these would be really, really fun and nostalgic, especially for people who do like to memory keep. These are gonna be awesome. So I found this Fire King milk glass tray. And as you can see, it's got some gold edging. Some of it has worn off, but I couldn't resist this. I thought it would be just so pretty. I like to organize my small crafting pieces when I'm doing say a video or just some project so I don't lose them. So this will be great for that. And I removed the label already. I think it was about, ooh, about two, maybe $3 can't remember for sure, but I loved it. So this is a piece that my mom grabbed for me at a garage sale, and it is a cream and sugar set with the tray. And it says it's just 25 cents for the set. Like, <laughs> hello. It is Canadian made, which is really cool. It was W.A. Roberts. I believe that was the stamp on the bottom, but I was thrilled that it was made in Canada. I love it when I can find things that are made in Canada. So I like to use these um, at Christmas time. I'll put little arrangements, but for fall, it would be beautiful as well. And then something like the tray could just be used as a trinket tray or something. Yeah, for 25 cents. Yeah, thank you, mom. <laughs> I love it when I can find wood pieces for storage. And I found this little chest. It's an excellent shape. Now, the only thing is I'm not a fan of this decal here, <laughs> but um, I'm curious, would you guys just try to sand that off or would you repaint this whole thing? I'm not sure what to do yet. I'm kind of lost. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I might paint it. I haven't fully decided, but it was only $3. So I thought that was a really good deal. Another fun wood piece is this wheelbarrow. Isn't that just the cutest? I love it. It was $6. And this one is going to get a paint job because I'm not a fan of that at all. I mean, somebody put a lot of work into this, I'm sure, but it's just, it really isn't my style. I appreciate this kind of work though. So I don't know, maybe I'll yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to get repainted. Again, what would you guys do? Would you leave it as is or would you paint over it? So this was another freebie that I got from my mom and it is a wine vessel. So you, a wine chiller. It is clay. But I don't know. I thought it would be really cool just to either use it as is and just put some dried florals in there or I don't know, maybe paint it. I'm not sure yet, but I thought it would be really, really cool for the fall season. So my mom's friend gave this bushel basket to me. Isn't it so cool? It is quite well used, but that doesn't matter. This is going to be great for both fall and Christmas time outside. I love bushel baskets. Uh, I think I'll even leave the red or I might even just kind of give it a bit of more of a uh, distress over it just so it doesn't stand out quite as much. I'm not sure, uh, but yeah, this is going to look great. It'll look great with some evergreens or like a fall mum. I love this bushel basket. Here is another really cool thing that I received from my mom's friend and it is a wooden bucket. Isn't that cool? It does have like a Christmas scene on the front, but I could turn around and there's nothing on the other side. I've already had this outside on by my front door 
and I think I'm gonna put a fall mum in this because it's just gorgeous. And I'm not gonna paint this piece. I think I like it just as is. I love natural wood color, um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I think because there's the metal pieces, um, it might be difficult to paint. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it as is for now and then maybe down the road I'll paint it and distress it I haven't I haven't decided but for now it's staying like this okay so now on to the items that I got specifically for fall I showed you a lot of things that would work for fall already but these I did specifically buy for for the fall season I got this ceramic mug for one dollar and it's i don't think it's handmade i could be wrong it's i doubt it it this is what's on the bottom it's got this m stamp and then it says stoneware so i think these were mass produced but for a dollar i thought this would be really cute on a tiered tray or you know for spoons or i don't know i just i've really liked it i thought mugs like this really do remind me of the fall season i look at them and i just think they're just so warm and cozy and inviting so yeah, for a dollar. I thought, why not? <laughs> I have a real thing for tins. And I saw this one and I thought it was so pretty. I love the fall scene on it. And I believe it was like 50 cents. There was no price on it, but it's in good shape. I love to use tins for storage. And it doesn't say uh, who the artist is on this, but I just love the scene. Perfect for fall, of course. And here is the edge. Sorry for the glare, it's a nice bright day outside, so isn't that so pretty? So I live in BC, Canada, and we are known for our salmon and specifically smoked salmon. So I found this wood crate and it's got some indigenous art on it, which I love. And see that it opens up so this will be great for storage but I thought for now I like to decorate the top of my cupboard and I like to incorporate some things that represent my area so things like this would be perfect um, I'll have wine bottles and I have a picture of like some wine barrels and some cider bottles because we've got lots of cideries in around my area um, I got this for $2 and I think I'm actually gonna stain this. I think it'll look better stained. And then yeah, display this for the fall season on top of my cupboards. I found this ceramic plate. Again, I don't know if it's handmade or not, but I just thought it was so pretty. I thought it would look really, really nice just sitting off on the side with a candle or you can put some pine cones or rocks and leaves or a little pumpkin. I don't know, I just thought it was so pretty and it was only $1, so I was excited to find that. And then I also found some wood bowls. I love these. These actually work great for little displays and they were only 50 cents each. Um, you can paint these too, which is great. I love that idea or just leave them as is. Um, yeah, 50 cents, why not? And then I was really, really excited to find this. It is a wood pear. Isn't that cool? I thought that was so neat. And it comes off so you could use this bowl portion just as is if you wanted. And, or you could just use this as display. I love wood items. I find um, wood really kind of warms up a room, so. Yeah, this will look really good for the fall season. I thought this was a fun little find. It is a book and as you can see, it's got uh, a deer and a rabbit. And But I love the fall colors. I thought this would be cute just to put on display as is. And <laughs> I thought the name of it was really cute too. Young Flash the Deer. <laughs> um, we're a very outdoorsy family, so I thought this would be appropriate. And we have deer in our area too. Uh, so yeah, I thought this would be really fun just to put up on display. I f I'm not typically really, really drawn to wicker, uh, but I fell in love with this piece starting to warm up to wicker more and more and more especially after seeing some fall thrift decor hauls and for fall wicker is definitely uh, something that is really really cool and 
highly sought after because it, it is warm and cozy. Um, I really like this one, it's an excellent shape. I like how big it is and you could use it as a tray if you want, but I thought it would be really cool to put it on top of my cupboards as for display. And I only paid $2 for this, so yeah, I, I like it. Why not? <laughs> This is another one of my folks' favorite finds. I was so thrilled. I almost didn't get it because it was a little bit pricey, but it is this beautiful golden yellow platter and it is ironstone and I paid $5 for it. And here is the stamp. So I was so thrilled and it's an excellent shape. There's the odd spot where you can tell that the uh, glaze didn't quite take, but I just think that adds to the character. Okay, I'm gonna be sharing my deal of the month. <laughs> I didn't know, but I went into our local thrift store and she said, I have actually got a couple of sales running. She said, I have a sale on, I believe it was yellow tickets. They were 50% no yellow ticket clothing was one dollar each so i did find myself a couple of shirts for the fall season and then um i was also told she said home decor that's got an orange tag on it is 50 no 75 percent off i'm like oh okay so as i was looking around i actually had forgotten that sale price but I didn't end up finding some things. Once I got up to the checkout, she's like, oh, okay, you found a few things that were on sale, awesome. So she rang me up and I'm gonna show you the items first and then tell you how much it all came to. So first up, I found this. Uh, my daughter thought I was crazy buying this, but I don't know why I love this. There was something about it. Um, I'm really drawn to copper right now. I think it's great for the fall season and I love that it had this fall scene with the ducks. So that piece was $3. And then I found this little jug and it's got some German writing on it, but it looks like it says uh, something Castle Mead. I'm not sure. It was $3 and um, I'll probably use it this side without the writing, but I thought this would be great for fall. Love stuff like this. And then I found this copper little vase. It was only 75 cents. Again, copper, great for the fall season. But all three pieces, $1.80. <laughs> like what? <laughs> $1.80 for all these pieces. And I went to another thrift store and copper was outrageously priced. So I could not believe that I found these, all of this for $1.80. Even this piece at $3 was a steal compared to all the other places that I checked out. One thing I love to look for at thrift stores is artwork. You can get such amazing deals. So I found this piece. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the yellow roses. And I only got it for $4. And there's a little write-up on the back about it as well. It is an original oil painting. So I was so, so excited when I discovered this. I just love it. My grandpa did some oil paintings and he did some with some florals. So this is gonna complement those really, really nicely. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're out in the thrift stores, check out the art section. You really can find a lot of good deals. I've actually gotten a lot of original pieces for my collection and I am going to be building a gallery wall in our master bedroom. I've been collecting for a while and I know I've said that in the past that I was going to be doing that, um, but just with some things that have happened over the past couple, well, two, three years with my family, I just couldn't get to it. But now I'm at the point where I need to repaint our bedroom. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that first and then I will work on the gallery wall. But 
In the meantime, I'm still just going to put this on display somewhere in my home so I can enjoy it. So I, again, had so much fun thrifting. I would like to know which one of these pieces was your favorite or let me know some of the fun finds you've been finding in your thrift stores. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm so excited for the fall season. Uh, <laughs> it's been a roller coaster of a summer between the illness <laughs> and as well as forest fires in my region. Things have been topsy-turvy, but things are kind of getting back under control here as far as the forest fires go. School season's starting up here in a bit, and yeah, I'm kind of excited to get back into the routine of things. So anyways, I hope you are all doing well, and we will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>